It's 80 quid. Yeah. It's 80 quid pure profit. No entry fees, no travel fees, nothing. Just the sitting at home. Like, this is valuable League of Legends time that Prof could be using, you know? <laughs> so he needs yeah. to get paid if he's not smurfing on League. Yeah, this is literally time that Prof could be spending to Challenger. Exactly. Could be spending here. Anyway, wait straight into it. And off with the percent lead. I'm running down Nicholas. Nicholas trying to set up his zoning, but it's not quite DK you're up against. Yeah, and just, I, I feel like Prof kind of knows what's safe and what's not, and knows what to punish out of shield and is ready to pull the trigger. You know, I feel like that's the first time I've seen Nicholas use an arrow all tournament. <laughs> He's been, like, zoning so hard, but never with arrows. I don't know if that was intentional. Yeah, I was about to say, and I wonder if it was intentional. <laughs> Prof just kind of giving Nicholas a taste of his own medicine by just running rings around him. And at the same time, not giving him any room. Oof. Spot those down smash. <laughs> Angle, man. <laughs> Keep it grounded. Not really, really forcing anything. He has spots, looking to punish. Oh my god, that nice tech, because that could have been really bad. Until trades with the upbeat. Broken. Flash tag with a bear. Prof just taking this one nice and slow, just really grinding out this win. Guess I'm not looking to get cheesed. Leave himself open to getting caught out. Prof's just not really giving him any bomb confirms either. Nice angle, but covered by the forward uh, by the dash tag. Does it twice. I guess then... that's why Nicholas goes that far back. He looks for the dash attack. I guess so. Um... Maybe? I feel like you still could go for a ne a nair which covers multiple options, right? Or even a full attack. I don't know. I'm still not a fan of Nicholas's edge guarding positioning. Oh no, then again, he's sitting here and loses a... Uh, he's sitting here and loses semis, semis with Young Link, yeah. so maybe he knows what he's doing. Yeah. He's in stocks, but... He feels like Prof's in control. Feels like... Feels like Prof isn't really rushing it. He Prof tries to shine it, but gets hit for it. There's, there's always kind of mix-ups in the when you shine projectiles. There's like, yeah. there's then the mix-up of either not throwing the projectile or throwing it at a different angle. Uh, a lot of people get stuck in their shine. I'm pretty sure Prof knows the trick to not get stuck in their shine, but a lot of people do. I didn't know that was a trick. Um, so if you if you hold shine down, you can't jump out of it unless you're still holding shine down. So if you press down B, let go of B, and then jump you have to finish the shine animation. But if you're still holding B, you can jump out of it. The hell? Okay. It's a, it's a weird little thing, but a lot of people get hit by it. Ready? He's up that first game. I look like another day in the office. Uh, Nicholas can grind the second one out. Yeah, it's definitely looking like a kind of like a, a death by a thousand cuts, Nicholas. Where it's like it's just he's he's losing, but he's losing very slowly. Oh, okay, get hit by the final hit of the RP. Doesn't get the shine, but off. Honestly, just not looking worried about it. 
missing a lot of his stuff, but it kind of doesn't seem to matter. It's like, whatever, I'm a better character and a better player. Ooh, the, sh the sound of the shine came out, but he still got hit because the hitbox, the reflection hitbox doesn't come out to frame four. Oh my god, nice stream. It's amazing to see the difference how how prop plays against oh. like weird matchups versus the other top tiers. Sure. Oh, Terra's one backwards. I'm not sure why he did that. Unless he wanted to be facing backwards, but he didn't do anything off it. Uh oh, Prof waits. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Prof looking to be in control of this. Uh, another thing with Youngling's grab is it can only hit grounded opponents. I think the yeah. hand hitbox can hit an airborne opponent only. But. Yeah, no, if you're... That's different from uh, Samus's grab, which can grab airborne opponents, if I recall correctly. Uh, I'm pretty sure only the hand hitbox can, as well, with Samus. Really? Uh, yeah, okay. so... Because I, I know the thing I like to do against Samus is I like to just float, and the grab goes straight through me. Oh, I see. Um, but her hand hitbox can do it, I'm pretty sure. And I think hers is slightly better. Um, although I think the extender grab can, I'm not sure. This manages to take Prof's first stock, but honestly, I'm feeling like Prof's very much in control of this and just not looking to rush things, just grinding out the grinding out the game. Again, this is kind of the case where Nicholas is kind of zoned, but you're zoning from behind. With well, that being said, we got something going there. This is looking rough for Nicholas. Okay, nice. He kind of had to go so. for it. Oh, what a shine! <laughs> My god. Oh, those were really nice mix ups from Nicholas. Yeah. Because he made it ambiguous whether he was gonna pull back or actually approach with the net. Then he messes up the edge guard, sadly. Alright, we're back to, back to Battlefield. This is fine, I guess. Okay. Uh, doesn't quite space right or mistimes his um, approach. Honestly. In terms of... Oh wow, okay. I was about to say, in terms of percentages, it's looking better for Nicholas, but it still feels like Prof is completely in control. And then Nicholas gives him the stock, sadly. Now Prof's just gonna... Prof definitely looking like he knows what he's doing in this matchup. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, you watch Prof, Prof against, like, like a Yoshi, or someone like that, and he clearly doesn't. <laughs> but this, this is not one of those times. Well, I think Yoshi is one of those matchups where Yoshi can kind of overwhelm you, whereas the Young Link, I don't think, can really do that. Sure. Right? Maybe that's the difference, perhaps. Or maybe Nebby is just a better player. Mm. Nicholas. Yeah, this is. Ooh, he jabbed the boomerang. Very nice Nicholas. to see. <laughs> Yeah, Just it's things like that. The, the bomb. Things like that from Prof, like jabbing the boomerang, that's clearly matchup experience. Like, yes, it's logical, but a lot of people don't think to do it in the heat of the moment. It's the same with a lot of projectiles, which, is the la which aren't lasers. Uh, oh, nice SDI. Got there. Manages to survive, but he's looking bleak. Oh my god! That surely that arrow was intentional. <laughs> Gonna close this one out. Press him back, but I this think... doesn't mind too much. Manages to close out. 
I think the the, um, the bomb slowed down his up B, which actually saved it. <laughs> I might have missed all that, but if if so, and if that was intentional, that's amazing. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, this is um, form and stop for Nicholas. Kinda has a humongous mountain to climb. Hmm. And I think Boss just kind of happy to grind this one out and take on any unnecessary risks. But, uh... Goes for a grab there. <laughs> <laughs> Prof's got his own bomb confirmed. Oh Clearly not as practiced. Oh my god, the movement from Prof! Wow, the shield poke. Oh, he caught him jumping. Not sure which one. It's like a shield poke. That's gotta be it. I assume Prof just goes to ledge, but he says take stage instead. Yeah. yeah it, it looks like it looks like Prof's kind of just happy to grind this one out. Prof's just making the point of don't play Lotus. I'm just gonna win by just standing in the middle and shooting lasers at you. I don't have to edge guard you. Okay, all right, all right. We get the reverse hitbox of that. <laughs>